The world is a vast and mysterious place, filled with wonders and enigmas that continue to amaze and challenge our understanding. Scientists and researchers, in their quest for knowledge, have made astonishing discoveries that have left them in awe. In this exploration of worldwide findings and discoveries, we'll delve into some of the most mind-blowing mysteries that continue to baffle and amaze scientists. The Regal Burial Site of Mapungubwe The royal tomb of Mapungubwe, known as Mapungubwe, which translates to Hill of the Jackal, stood as an empire of grandeur and sophistication, involved in the trade of gold and ivory with distant lands like China, India, and Egypt. Its secrets remained concealed until December 31, 1932, when a local informant named Moena guided ESJ Van Graan and his team to Griswold Farm in Mupangobwe Hill. Here, within stone walls, they unearthed a treasure trove of gold and iron artifacts, pottery, and glass beads, hinting at an ancient civilization predating European occupation. At the heart of Mapungubwe lay a 300-meter-long hill, once housing dwellings constructed over generations, reflecting a class-based society. Radiocarbon dating revealed that the earliest buildings appeared at the base of the hill around the 11th century AD, while neighboring Bambadianalo had been settled even earlier. Over time, the center of power shifted to Mapungubwe Hill, possibly due to overcrowding, with the nobility constructing their edifices on higher ground. The discovery of exquisite gold artifacts, including the famous golden rhinoceros, provided evidence of early gold smelting and showcased the opulence of the royal family. The burial site alone yielded an astonishing 7,503 ounces of gold. However, as mysteriously as Mapungubwe flourished, it was ultimately abandoned in the 1400s, leaving behind grand palaces and settlements. While the exact reasons for its abandonment remain elusive, scholars speculate that changing climates made farming and sustenance difficult, compelling the population to seek new horizons. Griswold Farm, where this captivating journey began, came under the care of sand parks and received recognition as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2003. The Mysterious Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is an ancient and incredibly mysterious book believed to be created in the 15th century. The images in this book have baffled scholars for a long time because they are very difficult to understand. The book was named after a man named Wilfred Voynich, who obtained it in 1912. What's unusual about the book is that it contains writing that nobody can read, and it's filled with drawings, including pictures of plants and stars, along with strange scenes about the universe. The pictures in the Voynich manuscript are not like typical drawings. They are highly detailed and depict unusual things like plants that have never been seen before, objects in the sky that no one can identify, and people engaged in strange activities. While some pictures seem to follow a pattern, Others are simply bizarre and lack a clear meaning. Over the years, many theories have been proposed to decipher the purpose and meaning of the manuscript's illustrations. Some suggest it's a secretive work hiding classified information, while others consider it a prank or a complex piece of art with no hidden message. Surprisingly, despite the dedicated efforts of professional codebreakers, language experts, and historians, the Voynich manuscript remains an unsolved mystery with its secrets locked away in the past. The Swiss Ring Watch In 2008, archaeologists made a remarkable discovery while exploring a sealed tomb in Shaanxi, southern China, which dates back to the Ming Dynasty. Inside this ancient tomb, they found something truly puzzling, a mud-covered ring with a surprisingly modern design. This ring was unusual, being incredibly thin, measuring only 2 millimeters, what made it even more interesting was that the watch on the ring showed the exact time of 10.06. As the archaeologists continued their investigation, they stumbled upon an even more astonishing revelation. Engraved on the back of the ring were the words Swiss or Switzerland in English. However, here's where it becomes truly perplexing. Switzerland, as we know it today, wasn't established until 1848 which is a significant period after the tomb's construction between 1368 and 1644. This intriguing discovery sparked wild speculation about the possibility of time travel. The presence of a seemingly modern Swiss ring watch in a Ming Dynasty tomb presents a captivating mystery. While the idea of time travel is enticing, 
it's essential to approach such claims with a fair amount of skepticism. There could be a chance of misinterpretation or misidentification of this rare artifact. Is this a genuine piece of evidence for time travel, or could it be a case of finding something out of place in its time? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. The Antikythera Mechanism The Antikythera Mechanism is a very old and interesting object that people like historians, archaeologists, and scientists have found fascinating for a long time. It was discovered in 1901 from a shipwreck near a Greek island called Antikythera. This special device is from around 1st or 2nd century BCE, making it one of the oldest known analog computers in the world. It's like a complex set of gears and dials kept in a wooden or bronze box. What makes it even more exciting is what it was made for. It was used to predict and monitor astronomical events, like when there would be eclipses, where celestial bodies were, and even when the Olympic Games happened. At first, people didn't really understand how important it was. It was only with modern technology like x-rays and computer scans that we uncovered its real abilities. The device's complexity and accuracy surprised scholars because it shows that ancient Greeks had a lot of knowledge and skills we didn't know about before. We're not exactly sure who made it and where it came from, but it's a clear sign of how smart ancient people were. This special object still sparks our curiosity and helps us appreciate the incredible things ancient civilizations achieved. The Mysterious Nazca Lines In southern Peru, there are big drawings in the ground called the Nazca Lines. They were made by people who lived almost 2,000 years ago. What's unique about these drawings is that you can see their shapes and patterns best when you're up in the sky, like in an airplane. These drawings cover a huge area, about 450 square kilometers, and some of them are really long. Scientists and experts are curious about how and why the Nazca folks created these amazing drawings. Some say the lines and figures match up with things like the sun, moon, stars, and special days in the year. Others think they might be connected to their beliefs and rituals, like worshiping nature, ancestors, or gods. There are even ideas that these drawings were a way to talk to creatures from other places, like aliens or spirits. But no one has a definite answer. Preserving these ancient wonders is paramount as recognized by UNESCO when they designated the Nazca Lines a World Heritage Site in 1994. But safeguarding them is no easy task, with the relentless desert and inadvertent human actions posing constant threats. The Nazca Lines persist as an enchanting enigma, inviting us to ponder the ingenuity of those who shaped them eons ago. Mystery of Costa Rica's Dequise Spheres In the forests of Costa Rica, peculiar stone balls known as the Dequise Spheres can be found. These unique rocks are scattered across the southern part of Costa Rica, especially in the Dequise Delta and nearby regions. Their history dates back to the 1930s when they were discovered by the United Fruit Company during land clearance for banana plantations. These spheres, crafted from robust rocks like gabbro and granodiorite, vary in size, ranging from just a few centimeters to over two meters in diameter. What's truly remarkable is their nearly flawless round shape and the remarkable craftsmanship that went into their creation. People have long pondered how the ancient builders achieved such precision in making them. Despite numerous research endeavors, the cultural significance and purpose of these stone spheres remains a puzzle for experts. Local groups like the Baruca and Guaymi have legends related to their spheres, but there is no concrete evidence linking them to a specific group or purpose. Some experts speculate that they might have served as symbols of importance markers for land boundaries or tools for observing the stars. These stone spheres have evolved into an emblem of Costa Rican culture. While some remain in their original locations, others have been relocated to museums and public spaces to ensure their preservation and to share their intriguing story. The Enigmatic Piri Rice Map The Piri Rice Map is a truly captivating historical artifact that has piqued the interest of scholars and researchers for many years. Crafted by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Rice in 1513, this map stands out for its detailed representation of the coastlines of Europe, Africa, and the Americas. What makes it even more fascinating is its precise depiction of the coastline of South America and Antarctica. This is astonishing because Antarctica wasn't officially discovered until the early 19th century, and its coastline wasn't fully mapped until much later. The map also provides glimpses of North America, including the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. 
Some researchers and enthusiasts have ventured in the realm of speculation, suggesting that the Piri Rice map might offer evidence of ancient civilizations possessing advanced geographical and cartographical knowledge. They propose various theories, including the idea that the map might be based on older, lost maps, or even influenced by extraterrestrial interactions. However, it's crucial to approach such claims with a degree of caution. Many experts believe that the map's accurate depiction of Antarctica is simply a coincidence or perhaps the result of educated guesses. Despite the ongoing debates and mysteries surrounding the Piri Rice map, it remains a captivating piece of cartographic history. It serves as a reminder of the fascinating discoveries and unanswered questions that continue to spark our curiosity about the past. Aboriginal Rock Art Aboriginal rock art in Australia unfolds a mesmerizing tale of discovery and cultural richness. This captivating journey unfolded in the breathtaking Amhem land region, where researchers established close collaborations with the local Aboriginal communities for over a decade. Together, they revealed 572 paintings at 87 rock art sites scattered across an expansive 80 square mile area in the far north of Australia. This revelation is like peering into a time capsule providing us with a glimpse of the extraordinary diversity within Aboriginal art from various historical periods. The significance of this discovery is further emphasized by the moniker, paying tribute to a part of the clan estate where many of these ancient paintings were unearthed. What truly captivates us about these findings is their role as a living connection to the Aboriginal Hmong language, effectively preserving the cultural heritage of those who once traversed this land thousands of years ago. Among the remarkable depictions are lifelike representations of both humans and animals, standing tall and awe-inspiring. Some of these artworks reach towering heights of 2.5 feet. Dated between 6,000 and 9,400 years old, these ancient masterpieces offer a unique window into the intricate relationship between humans and the wildlife that surrounded them. Notably, kangaroos and wallabies take on significant roles in this captivating canvas of history occasionally appearing as observers of human activities within the tribe. But for the Aboriginal people, this rock art is far more than mere aesthetics. It's a profound window into their spirituality, a conduit for passing down knowledge from one generation to the next. Many of these paintings narrate captivating stories, each containing layers of meaning that can be understood at varying levels, making them a precious source of wisdom for children and initiated adults alike. The Namib Desert's Fairy Circles In the Namib Desert, there is something strange known as fairy circles. These are circular patches where no grass grows, and they stretch over 1,100 miles in the dry grasslands of southern Africa. Scientists have been trying to understand how these circles formed for many years. Some people thought termites might be responsible, while others believed the grass around them had something to do with it. Recently, a scientist named Stefan Getzen from the University of Göttingen in Germany led a study to get to the bottom of this mystery. What makes these circles even more interesting is that there's a ring of healthy grass around the barren center. So how do these outer grasses manage to thrive in such a dry place? Getzen and his team had a theory. They thought that the outer ring of plants evolved to make the most of the limited water available in the desert. To test this idea, they went on a three-year expedition to Namibia closely watching the growth of grasses and monitoring how they absorbed water during the drought season of 2020. During their research, they made an incredible discovery. The grasses on the outer rings of the circles had evolved a unique ability to maximize their limited water supply in the desert. They had developed a kind of vacuum system around their roots, pulling water towards them. In contrast, the grasses inside the circles, struggling to grow after rainfall, couldn't access enough water to survive. This discovery points to an example of eco-hydrological feedback, where the barren circles act as reservoirs, helping the grasses on the edges, but leaving those in the middle to struggle. So it seems that the circular patterns of the fairy circles are nature's way of coping with a lack of water in a harsh environment. This not only helps us understand this natural wonder better, but also shows how nature adapts to survive in challenging conditions. The Mysterious Ubeid Lizardman Statuettes Archaeology often provides us with answers to various questions, but there are moments when it leaves us with intriguing enigmas to ponder. The Ubeid Lizardmen statues exemplify such captivating discoveries that evoke curiosity and a quest for understanding. 
These statues constitute a collection of ancient artifacts unearthed in Mesopotamia, particularly dating back to the Ubayid period, approximately between 5900 and 4000 BCE. These meticulously crafted pieces depict humanoid figures with distinct lizard or reptilian characteristics. They commonly exhibit elongated heads, almond-shaped eyes, and reptilian bodies adorned with scales and tails. Some even wear what appear to be headdresses or helmets adorned with horn-like projections. Numerous theories have emerged to decipher the meaning of the Ubayid lizardmen statuettes. Some propose that they may symbolize deities or mythical beings within the Ubayid belief system, perhaps linked to concepts of fertility or protection. Others speculate that these artifacts might symbolize a connection to reptilian creatures or hold significance in the culture's reptilian symbolism. It's important to recognize that interpretations of ancient artifacts can be speculative, and the true purpose behind the Ubayid lizardmen statuettes may forever remain a mystery. The Martian Spherules in 2012, NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity captured an image that has left scientists puzzled. The image revealed numerous large spherules, believed to be made of a mineral called hematite, which is linked to the presence of water. This discovery created quite a stir in the scientific community, and questions raised at that time still remain unanswered. These newly found spherules are unlike the familiar blueberries on Mars. They are bigger, more abundant, and contain less iron. The mystery deepens when we try to understand how these unique formations formed. Scientists have proposed various theories, each offering a different perspective. One theory suggests that these spherules are concretions, forming through a different process than the well-known blueberries. This process might be influenced by different types of water or minerals. Another interesting idea, proposed by the University of Western Ontario, suggests that they could be impactites, created by the intense heat and pressure from meteorite impacts. Despite the many ideas and studies, we still don't have a clear understanding of where these Martian spherules come from and their significance. Further research and analysis are needed to unlock their secrets. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.